Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for October 7th of 2025 is titled SN Encore, a second supernova seen several times. So, what do we see here? Well, here we're going to look at two images and showing supernovae, and we're seeing repeating supernovae. Now, how can a supernova go off more than once? A supernova destroys a star at the end of its life, and in general, a supernova can't occur more than once. Now, that differentiates it from an ordinary nova, which can recur and happen over and over again. But a supernova is a one-time event. And what we're looking at here is an image from the Hubble Space Telescope in 2016. And the circled images down there are all of a supernova, and in fact of the same supernova that occurred. Now, how can we see the supernova be in three different places at once? Well, that's because we're seeing gravitationally lensed images. The light from this distant galaxy behind this galaxy cluster is lensed and bent by the cluster's gravity as it comes through. And that means that different paths will be followed by the light rays that travel from, say, this supernova. And that will allow us to see the same supernova appear to occur in different places and possibly even at different times if the light paths are not exactly the same. Now, this is not the only time this occurred, and in fact, we have another image here showing the Webb Space Telescope image from 2023, and we can also see two supernovae highlighted there. And again, they are the same supernova that occurred. And getting multiple image of these is quite important because the amount of lensing that occurs allows us to measure the mass of the galaxy cluster. And one of the things that we found is that there is a lot more mass in galaxy clusters and individual galaxies than we can account for. And that has led to the understanding of what we call dark matter, which seems to exist essentially in every galaxy and galaxy cluster in relatively large amounts, meaning that this dark matter is far more common than the ordinary matter, the stuff made up of protons and neutrons and electrons that you and I are made up of. So we're starting to be able to try to understand that better, and the more we get, the more we're able to make these measurements and determine the amount and the distribution of the dark matter in this galaxy cluster. So that helps us better understand not only the cluster and the distribution of mass within it, but even a better understanding of the entire universe, because dark matter is a much larger component of the mass of the universe than the ordinary matter that we are used to. And that ordinary matter is the stuff that makes up the stars and galaxies that we see. The ordinary matter that gives off visible light, as well as other types of electromagnetic light. So radio waves, x-rays, or gamma rays. Whereas the dark matter doesn't give off any of those, making it truly dark. Not just not giving off visible light, but giving out no type of electromagnetic radiation at all. So that was our picture of the day for October 7th of 2025. It was titled SN Encore, a second supernova seen several times. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.